What's up? Are we good? Are we in here? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Gotta make sure I got this thing right. What's up? We got four. Oh, wow. Here come all the comments at once. <laughs> hey, guys. 328 people in here in the first 45 seconds. Love you too. Hey, y'all. My bun is looking a little lopsided. Notification gang, we in here. Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Love you too. Okay, oh wait, we got, okay, now we got 961 people in here. That was fast. Okay, so I guess we can get started now. I can tell from the title of this live stream, we're gonna be doing a unboxing. I have one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 boxes. Zaya is taking a nap. Um, I forgot to get my scissors ready to open these boxes. Please hold. All right, got the scissors. Mom gang. Yes, we have PR packages. This is a mix of PR packages. So it's gonna be like makeup, hair product type stuff. But also I have some stuff from my PO box. And a lot of people don't know that I actually have a PO box now. Um, so obviously it's a public address that people can send stuff to. I don't really talk about it much because I don't just want you guys to feel like you should just send me a bunch of stuff just to send it. But if you do have a small business, there is a chance that maybe I might open it, show it on my Instagram or show it in a live stream like this. And my PO box address is listed in the description box of all of my videos now. So if you ever are interested in sending me something, I do have a PO box. In the description of my videos so I have a couple of things from followers from my PO box and then like PR packages so which box should I open first let me know which one looks interesting to you guys which one do you want me to open let me open one of the small ones down here this is like Urban Decay. We've got a pineapple bag right here. We've got this one, which is from CoverGirl. Pink with words. Okay, so we're talking about this one. And this is from CoverGirl. And it says, open by July 29th. Today is July 21st, so we're good. And it says, Violet, ready or not, champagne, darling, kiss, delicious, rendezvous, decadent, ravishing rose. It sounds like makeup color names. All right, let's just bust it open. Zaya is taking a nap, you guys. If you ever have to ask me where Zaya, she's either at school or she's taking a nap. Being that it is a Saturday afternoon, she's taking a nap. My address is marked out, by the way, so don't even try it. 
All right, let's see. So it's gonna go right here. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so I see lips on top and then it says, in honor of National Lipstick Day, the new CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lipstick Collection has 48 shades to clap back at any shade you have ever been thrown for your lipstick choices. Cream, metallic, and demi-matte finishes. We've got you covered with deeper, hot pink for the gym. Just, okay, so, sounds like about to be a bunch of lipsticks in here. Take this off, the suspense. Take this off. Ooh. This is heavy. I'm like trying to show you. Literally a bunch of lipsticks and a few lip liners. And literally, they've got white and black lipsticks in here too. Zaya needs her own YouTube channel. Maybe later when she gets older if she wants one. Right now, no. All right, let's take out some of these lipsticks. So we've got cream lipsticks, demi matte lipsticks, metallic lipsticks, and matte, I think. No, just metallic. Like there's this one, which is literally like white. Mm. Okay, I'll swatch it. Sometimes I feel bad opening stuff because I'm like, oh, then I can't like do a giveaway with it. But this is literally like a white lipstick. It looks sparkly. This is the metallic formula. Let's see what this looks like. Whoa. So it looks kind of like just clear and sparkly, but then when it hits the light, look at that. That's pretty crazy. Now, are we gonna wear this for an everyday lip color? I don't know. Let's try like a more normal, like this looks like it might be my jam. This is a cream lipstick. It's kind of like, you know, a nice nude color. <gasps> you guys, no! Oh my God. I can't even like get it out. Of course the one that I'm like, oh, this looks like it might be a good color for me. It's like stuck in there. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna have to do surgery on that later. Mm. Let's do this one. This is like a very deep metallic purple. This better not be broken. Okay. Ooh. That's pretty, very galaxy. That's pretty. Okay, so these metallic ones are actually really cool. But let me find another, okay, here's another cream. Mm. Yeah, let's do this one. This is like a cream nude color. Oh, it's kind of messed up too. See, I think the problem is that they put them in the box upside down so that the colors could show at the bottom. And I think through shipment, the lipsticks were like, like, you know, bouncing up and down and they got messed up at the top. So that might not have been the best way to package them. Oh yeah, this is very creamy. 
not really a good shade for me. It's like too light. All right, I think that's enough of uh, swatching these lipsticks. A lot of those might be for a giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled. Moving on, I think I saw you guys wanted to see what was in the pineapple package. This is from my P.O. box. So it might be like a small business. Okay, there's a card. It says open. This is from CL Squad, Sierra Lorraine. Sierra Lorraine Swimwear. And then it says open. Okay, you want me to do the pink polka dot box next? If I can open this. Oh, cute little card. It says life is good. It says hi Raven. I followed your YouTube channel for a while and you're my favorite influencer. You have been the inspiration behind becoming my own boss. My brand is swimmer that's fun, sexy, and for the culture. Okay, so she has her own swimwear line. One of my followers. She sent glasses with it, some aviators, and then a one piece yellow golden, what does it say? Anyways, <laughs> anyways, get it? Sipping on that Henny, that's cute. So it's a high cut one piece swimsuit this is cute I have to take this with me when I go to Miami so thank you Sierra for that next box y'all want to see the pink polka dot this is from Sally Beauty if you <laughs> Literally every other comment is, where's Zaya? Where's Zaya? Zaya? Where's Zaya? Where's Zaya? Where's Zaya? Like, <laughs> I keep saying she's asleep. She's asleep. She's taking a nap. She's taking a nap. Like, I feel like I have to say that every five minutes for new people who join in the live stream. It's like, this box is from Sally Beauty and Zaya's taking a nap. This box is from CoverGirl and Zaya's taking a nap. <laughs> but yeah, this box is from Sally Beauty. So they send like a variety of all the different brands that they um, carry and they sent over a hair straightener. This is by Tool Science Ceramic 3-in-1 Oval Styling Iron. You can curl, wave, and straighten with this and it's red. So I don't really need a new hair straightener right now, so I'll probably just keep this and do like a giveaway with it in the future because that'll be like a really good giveaway prize. They also sent over some hair products. We have, ooh, Jamaican black castor oil. This is by Proclaim Flaxseed Oil Cream Gel for dry, damaged, brittle hair. So this is like a styling gel. It has Jamaican black castor oil in it. I love any hair product that has Jamaican black castor oil in it because if your hair is dry, if it's breaking, if it's not growing, if you're having bald spots, shedding, any problems with your hair, Jamaican black castor oil is really good for it. So I like anything like that. This is Curl Cream Ava NYC Rockaway Curl Cream this is like all in French. I don't know what this is. Some type of curl cream and a cute little pink bottle. We got some, oh, some colored hairspray. Gunmetal and Roses metallic rose gold hairspray, hair color. Temporary hair color. We've got uh, the main choice 
herbal hair tonic and soy milk deep cut oh a pre-poo i've never used a pre-poo before do y'all use pre-poo before you shampoo what 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 are you supposed to do with this what does it do helps to support natural growth and retention oh helps minimize breakage from cleansing manipulation so okay y'all pre-poo y'all be doing the pre-poo i don't be doing the pre-poo before the shampoo there's so many steps to natural hair washing routine it's like you gotta pre-poo then you gotta shampoo then you gotta put your treatment on then you gotta put your conditioner then you gotta put your leave-in conditioner and it's just like too much oh this is a gold peel off mask Ooh, this would be a really good instagram you know when they do those instagram videos for peel off masks retinol vitamin enriched gold peel off mask firmer glowing skin but you know i read somewhere that like they have all this skincare stuff that has real gold in it and like gold does not do anything for your skin like it has no reaction it has no like gold is not an active ingredient like it's not going to help your skin <laughs> so they just do that for like marketing this is a what the heck is this Cricut Ultra Smooth Coconut Oil. What? <laughs> it says Ultra Smooth Coconut Oil on it. Is it like a scalp massager, maybe? It's kind of like really hard though. It must be a scalp brush. Like when you're washing your hair, you get all the dandruff off. Oh no, I have a paper that says what everything is. It says it is actually, whoa, hold on. It says that this brush is infused with coconut oil and keratin protein. There's coconut oil inside the brush and it's actually a detangling brush. Or you can you're supposed to massage your scalp and then pull the conditioner through your hair with the brush, and it has coconut oil in the brush. It's called the Cricut Ultra Smooth. If you're interested, so we'll have to. I'm gonna try this and let y'all know if it works. Oh, we've got some cute little press-on nails, but I don't wear press-on nails. <laughs> These don't stand a chance to my nails, so I'll have to give these away. And then we've got a little eyeshadow palette. Enchanted Garden. I'll probably give this away too. And that's it for the Sally Beauty box. Moving on to, let's just do this next box that's right here. It's just a big old brown box. We don't know where it's from. I cannot tell from the label, but let's just open it and see. I feel like my thing is lagging now. Is it lagging? But yes, you guys, if you ever want to win a giveaway box of any of these products, that I'm talking about giving away all you have to do is just be an active follower on my um, all my social media so if it's leaving a YouTube comment saying something to me on Twitter leaving an Instagram comment just whatever you want to do just to show that you're an active follower um, every week I pick a new person and I contact them and I send them a box full of stuff so it's really simple just be an active follower just say hey what's up show some support and if you continue to do it obviously over time it increases your chances but anyway this box I can't even like get it out <laughs> please hold 
I can't get it out. There we go. Pretty. This is from MUA Makeup Academy. Never heard of it. But it's a really nice box. I don't have Twitter, but I have Instagram and Snapchat. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to do like all the the platforms. It's just whichever one you do have. So like I pick people off of Twitter, I pick people off of Instagram, I pick YouTube comments, I pick I pick from all over the place, so everyone has a chance, even if you like don't have Twitter or something, you can still do YouTube. You know, just leave me a comment. Um, so yeah, let's take the top off of this. I have no idea what this is gonna be. Discover the hidden treasure exclusively at CVS Pharmacy. Oh, it's like a whole makeup line. Look at that. And then, wait a minute. I think it opens like this. Look, wait, watch this. Wow. This is like a really difficult angle to show you. It's like three levels to the box. That's a really cool box. And like the outside of the box has like this little design. This is cute. Okay, let's see what's in here. So level one of the box. Bun on fleek, thank you. Zaya is sleeping, Zaya is sleeping. Oops. I just want the box. That's how I feel about a lot of these things. I'm like, the box itself is cool. Okay, anyway, let's see what's in here. First level has like I think like the face complexion stuff. So we've got like mattifying primer, illuminating primer. We've got powder. Dang, this is like a whole makeup brand that's at CVS that I've never seen or never heard of. That's crazy. But they've got powder. They've got, ooh, a nice little contouring palette. We've got a highlighting palette, brushes, a kabuki brush, and a foundation and concealer brush. This might be a really, I mean, obviously I haven't tried any of the products, but like from the packaging, and just the way it looks, this sounds like it's like a really good drugstore makeup brand. I want to open this contour palette. To see what it actually looks like. I haven't really tried a lot of drugstore stuff recently. Besides like CoverGirl, they've been sending me stuff. This is what the little palette looks like. It's very nice, like cute little packaging. <gasps> wow, this is nice, you guys. But I wonder how much it costs. Like, is it affordable? These And this is like my shade. Like, I'll definitely use that. And the yellow for under the eyes. Okay, second level of the box has lipsticks in it. They've got, uh, is this a liquid lipstick? No, this is lip gloss. Lip gloss, another lip gloss. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Ooh, these are both pretty actually. I need to open this one. 
Hold on. Makeup is made from pig fat. Well, most of it. That's not true because most makeup companies are vegan and cruelty free these days. Well, not most, but like a good amount of makeup and cosmetics is like cruelty free and vegan and stuff. So, I mean, I know there's definitely still products out there that are made with animal products, but most brands are leaning towards not doing that anymore. So I highly doubt that most makeup is made out of pig fat. <laughs> I hate these little like shrink wrap plastic things. They're so hard to open. <gasps> Cute packaging. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh. Kylie Cosmetics, who? We don't know her. That's nice. Oh, and y'all are saying that this is affordable too. That's good. So go to CVS, okay. Apparently, I didn't even know about this, but MUA at CVS, check it out. We got a bunch of others. They have like regular lipsticks. It's like a red color. They've got like the chubby lip crayons. They've got Let's see. Okay, so I think like they have like matte lipsticks and creamy lipsticks and the lip glosses. Okay, and there's one more level to this box. Oh, snap, they got eyelashes. Mm, mm. The eyelashes are not lit though. Look at those little eyelashes. <laughs> those are smaller than my real eyelashes. Like, what's the point? But it's a cute little kit. They give you some glue and the little applicator thing. They've got mascara. They got brow products. Eyeshadow base. Eyebrow gel. They got everything. <laughs> the lashes are for Zaya. That's what they look like. Oh, here's some more lashes. These are ba these are little baby lashes too. Why are they so short? These are just so short. And then they got like eyeliner. So it's a full makeup line. They have literally everything you can think of. I'll definitely have to. Ugh, I just smudged across my arm and I ain't got no type of wipes up in here. Um, but yeah, seems like it's worth checking out. Is the straightening brush still available? You're talking about my old straightening brush video that I did for Daphne. Um, I don't know if you, I know I have the link to the product in that video. If it's sold out, then it's sold out. I'm really not sure. That was a while back when I had got that product. Um, okay, moving on. Let's open Weedad, which I think that's how you say it. This necklace is from Forever 21. I typically get all of my jewelry from Forever 21 because I'm really bad about breaking and losing jewelry. So I'm scared to buy nice jewelry. So pretty much all my jewelry is from Forever 21. Uh, 
Oh yeah, if you wear glasses, then I, I guess you can't really wear long fake lashes. So maybe the shorter ones would be better for you. My eyelashes are really long, but they're really like thin. Um, like when I was getting eyelash extensions, they told me that my eyelashes, like my longest real eyelashes are longer than their longest extension that they offer. <laughs> so in terms of making my lashes longer, they don't even make extensions that are longer but I just like to get them to make it thicker, you know? Cause I have like three eyelashes. <laughs> Are you okay? Your eyes look sore. I'm not wearing, I'm only wearing mascara. So my eyes have dark circles and whatnot. That's just my face without makeup. Okay, so this box is from We Dad. It says, let curls be curls. <laughs> is this Zaya's channel? Cause y'all not even worried about Raven. What's new? I don't, I mean, you know, I try not to be rude. But it's like, if you see that I'm doing a live video and the title says live mail unboxing, did you think that the video was gonna be about Zaya? <laughs> like, I don't understand why everybody's like, where's Zaya? Go wake up Zaya. Why is Zaya not here? It's like, cause I'm doing a mail unboxing. Didn't you see the title? <laughs> Maybe one day I'll have to bring her on for a Zaya live stream, but we opening mail today. That's what we doing. The new Ultra Nourishing Intense Hydrating Mask by Redad. We got two products in here. Oh, it smells good. Mm. It smells good right when I open this box. Oh, it smells so good. This is Ultra Nourishing Cleansing Oil. Wait. Cleansing oil shampoo, that's new. And then an intense hydrating mask to repair your hair, repair your curls. This is for all curl types. Zaya would be ripping and opening everything. I wouldn't even be able to do the video comfortably. Exactly, which is why I waited until it was nap time to do this. So this is a hair mask to repair your curls. It feels very creamy, smells really good. But this is a cleansing oil to rehydrate dry damaged curls. That's interesting. <laughs> the Zaya drama. This smells so good. So it's literally, I can't, I'm trying to like not spill it. I don't know if I can show you. Maybe I'll just put a little bit in my hand. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to read the comments. Okay. Oh wait, I thought it was gonna be like literally an oil. It looked like it in the bottle, but it's like a clear, I don't know, different type of consistency than normal shampoo. So I'll have to try this and let you guys know if it works. I really need like a freaking towel. Like what am I thinking? What y'all doing today? What's going on with you? Why do people, why do the same people keep commenting the same exact thing over and over? 
Probably because I'm not responding to them and they want me to see it. I have a tutorial on how I do my buns like this on my channel already, if you guys have not seen it. Kisses from Greece. Hey, Greece. Instagram controls my life. I am planning on doing that. All right, next box. Let's do a big one. Big Daddy Box. I'm reporting everything negative. <laughs> Saying yes to Zaya for a whole day, that would not be good. Zaya is too smart for stuff like that. She'll have me like taking her to Disneyland and buying her everything in Target and letting her eat candy all day. It would be crazy. Oh, I was hoping to get this. Oh, you guys, I'm excited about this. I'm trying to show you. It's so big. That's what she said. Okay, so this is from Wet n Wild. You guys may have seen on social media that they recently came out with like a Zodiac thing. Zodiac collection. Um, and this is available at Walmart. So they got some new products and they had messaged me and asked me what my sign was and I told them I'm a Virgo. So they sent me a Virgo bag, makeup bag. How cute, it's like a blue velvet says Virgo right here and then if I can get this out that was loud look how pretty Okay, everybody comment what your sign is. And we'll see how, like, who wins. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. Somebody just said I'm a Scorpio. Sc scor Scorpio. Scorpio. <laughs> Aries, Libra, Pisces, Virgo. Oh, everybody's something different. Aquarius. Who, why are y'all saying, Kiki, do you love me? Gemini. Oh, we got a good mixture of all the different signs in here. But yeah, so Zodiac Collection. Let me see. Virgo. We do have a lot of Virgos, it seems like. A lot of Virgos and a lot of Aries, which is what Zaya is. My birthday is September 17th. Ooh, pretty. So it has all the signs right here. And it says, find your sign. Are you a fire, water, earth, or air sign? I'm an earth sign, Virgo. And it says that I am reliable. So Aries is courageous. Leo is creative. Sagittarius is optimistic. Pisces is intuitive. Cancers are imaginative. Scorpio is determined. Capricorn is ambitious. Taurus is loyal, Virgo is reliable, Aquarius is honest, Gemini is charming, and Libras are sociable. Wait, what did it say about Leo? Creative? I would think they would put creative for Virgo. And put, I don't know what they would put for Leo. Like, like, uh, like, how would you say? Confident, maybe? For Leo? The Gemini shade. <laughs> Geminis are, I didn't, well, I guess charming is kind of a good way to say it because, you know, 
you know. Charming is like on the positive side of how Geminis are supposed to be or whatever. But manipulative is probably <laughs> like the real word. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. this is cute. There's a bunch of stuff in here. So we've got highlighters. These really cute highlighter um, bars right here. Let me just take it out because I cannot hold up this big old box. We got four of these highlighter bars actually. Manipulative, manipulative is correct. But charming is also, I mean, that is also true, I guess. I don't actually know any Geminis personally, I don't think. So I don't really know from personal experience. I just know from what everybody else says from their experience. Um, so we've got these highlighters, a blue one, blue highlighter, kind of a rose gold. This looks really pretty. And then kind of a more pinky one. And then a more yellowy gold one, which also looks really pretty. Trying to open the wet and wild stuff is so freaking hard to open because they like tape it on all sides. <sighs> so freaking hard to open. This is cute. It has all the little um, signs going across it. My husband is a Virgo and he's a pain in my ass. <laughs> Let me swatch this. Ooh. Ignore the back of my nail. I'm running out of swatch space. Subtle, but cute. I'm not gonna open all this because a lot of it's probably gonna be for giveaway because I don't, I'm trying to be better about like not even opening it, not even touching it if I know I'm not gonna use it and just give it away because I can quickly turn into a makeup hoarder as you can see. Hi Sydney, hi Kiara. Have I ever left the USA? Yes, I have. Yes, I'm gonna save this live stream when it's over. Um, then over here we have these are eyelids, apparently. But it's just like all in one pan. You got like this red, red themed one. It's kind of hard to show with the glare. And then this one has some blues in it. Blue and brown. This one is like kind of a mixture. And then this one is like pastel lavender. I don't really like eyeshadow palettes that are like this, that are like all touching each other. <laughs> Cause the colors get mixed up really easily, but these are like some cute color schemes. Those will probably go in the giveaway. Then we've got Ooh, a loose highlighting powder. Okay, I see you, Wet and Wild. This is their Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder. I do like loose highlighters because they're usually really intense. Skincare routine is on my channel. I haven't um, really changed it much. Sorry for the awkward silence while I'm trying to like open stuff. <laughs> we have the same B-Day. Birthday twins. You gonna make me go to Walmart and CVS and buy all of this and my boyfriend's gonna be wondering why. I'm gonna say Raven made me do it. <laughs> hey, at least it's affordable. At least like I opened CoverGirl, 
We opened that one from CVS. This is at Walmart. So we got like a lot of good affordable stuff. This is cute. The little thing is like little stars. Okay, let's see how popping this highlighter is. Ooh, snap. Okay, that was underwhelming when I put it on my arm. Oh, well, there it is. It's pretty popping. If you like a really bright highlighter, loose highlighter. I lost the top. And that is not good for a loose highlighter. Oh, here it is. Um, just apply it the same way, like with the fan brush. Just dip a little bit. Same thing. But it's just usually they're more like pigmented when they're like loose. Then the last stuff in here are these metallic lips. Oh, lip glosses. These are pretty. Look how sparkly. Look at this. Ooh. Okay, we got to open some of these. This orange one. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are throwing so much shade to each other in the comments. What do you want to talk about? Y'all are saying y'all are getting annoyed with these comments. Let's pick a subject that we can all chime in on. Tell us more about the interactions with interactions you have with dudes when you go out. Mm -hmm. Sad story. Look at this. This is like orange. Got to really dig it in there. Oh, I thought it was going to be more pigmented. It's just like a clear. Oh, wait. Okay. It's kind of like this other one where it's like kind of just clear but it has like the glitter in it so when it catches the light you know you can see a little bit of the color and like the orange glitter it's pretty it's definitely like wearable which is good like you see it in the bottle and it looks like bright where's the camera <laughs> it looks like bright orange but that's cute Anyways, there's a bunch of those, all different shades, dark purple, light pink. This is like an interesting brown. <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna swatch all of those. We gotta move on. I'm making the biggest mess, by the way. Look at this. A mess. Shambles. Okay, she said she wanted to know about my interactions with guys when I go out. It's just, if you guys watch my Snapchat story from last night, it's pretty much that same type of thing all the time. Like, I hardly ever woke well, Clearly, I like never just meet really nice guys when I go out. It's usually, there's no nice way for me to say this, but it's usually the guys who like think that they're so cool and so funny and so whatever that are more confident. So those are the ones that approach me, but they're not nice <laughs> i don't know how to explain it it's like you see a nice guy just chilling over there with his friends being like a normal person those are the ones who are like oh no nah, i'm not gonna bother her oh no nah, i'm not gonna say anything and it's like we might be like looking at each other we might even be like you know but then he won't ever come up to me because he's like oh no nah, i'm chilling oh no nah. like 
whatever. Like, I guess not as confident. But then it's always like the creepy guys who are like, hey girl, what you doing? Let's dance. Oh, let me talk to you. Oh, do 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 do. Oh, you wanna hey, hey, I got a um, I got a film company. We make small films in my apartment. You wanna come to my apartment? <laughs> it's like why is it always the creepy guys who like have the most confidence and just wanna like bother me the whole night? But the nice normal looking guys are just like not even talking to any girls, you know? Maybe it's because they're already taken because they're nice and normal. So maybe they have girlfriends. Maybe that's why they don't talk to anybody. But I don't know. That's why it's, it's hard to, <laughs> I always meet like the weirdest, weirdest, weirdest guys. It's gotten to the point where I see them walking up to me. Like you can sometimes already tell from like how they're dressed and how they're walking and like the face that they're making when they're coming up to you. And it's just like, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. <laughs> and then they come up to me and I start talking crazy. <laughs> and it's just uh, a mess, a mess. And I don't really approach you guys. I don't know. Maybe that's my fault. <laughs> Go to the library. Bars are the worst place to meet decent guys because most are drunk and they're looking for hookups. Exactly. Yeah, and I mean, I think that's very true. Like you're at a bar, everyone's drinking, everyone's drunk, you know that's not really the best place to meet people because it's just like not the best environment. You can still meet people there, but you're more likely to just meet some drunk, crazy guy who's trying to make a short film with you in his apartment. <laughs> but, you know. You met your gym on a dating app? Hmm. No, but I'm really I'm not worried about it though. That's why I said like I don't really go to the bar to meet guys. Like that's not why I'm there. And I just kind of think it's funny like the interactions that I do have. I don't really like it's not like I go home like, "Oh, darn. I didn't meet anybody tonight." Like, I wasn't expecting to meet anybody. You know what I mean? It doesn't really, like, bother me. Because I'm not, like, trying to force that. I'm just not worried about it. Are you drunk? No, I'm not. So where would you meet guys or you really just don't have the time? Um... I'm really not trying to meet guys right now. If I was, I would probably prefer to meet them. I don't even know where. I would prefer, I just wish there was some place where like it's just a bunch of people kind of around my age just hanging out, not necessarily drunk but just having a good time and you know, I don't know, but I don't really like the idea of like online dating. Cause then it's like, you never know when you meet them and a lot of things that young people do involves just like going out and being drunk. <laughs> so I don't really even know, like, you know, like they say like coffee shop, grocery store, the library, different little hobbies like book club and like the stuff that y'all are saying, like yeah, coffee shop, just like a normal little place where you just might run into someone. Um, networking events. But for me, my type of networking events is going to be full of makeup artists <laughs> and like stylists and hairstylists. So that's not really gonna be a good place for me to meet straight men um 
So the type of events that I normally go to don't really help with that. Uh, but maybe like, you know, grocery store, coffee shop, day party, brunch. You know, brunch would be a good one. <laughs> Go somewhere where straight men are photographers or models. Good guys be in the house chilling. I don't go to church. Do I ever get DMs from famous guys? Not really like famous guys, like like YouTuber famous occasionally and um, like athletes, like NFL players, but not really like famous, famous. Not no Chris Brown type of thing. Find a man with a firm, cute booty. Okay, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. No, that's not all the boxes. I was just taking a little break because I felt like you guys were getting bored with the boxes. At the gym, see, y'all know how I am with the gym. And I would be so self-conscious to meet guys at the gym just because I don't, I don't be feeling comfortable at the gym. I feel very uncomfortable at the gym. That would be like the worst place for like a guy to approach me because I'll be like, just like, ugh. But I'm not, I'm not looking, you know? I told you guys before that like, I'm kind of talking to someone, you know, it's complicated. I'm not gonna go too much into that situation. You guys will find out when you find out, if there is anything to find out. But, so I'm kind of chilling on the whole trying to meet guys, trying to date, trying to get a boyfriend. Like, I'm kind of just chilling right now. So I'm really not trying to meet guys. But anyway, let's go to another box. I wanna see what's in this little Urban Decay thing. Of a secretive sister. <laughs> Does Ogden have guy friends? Yes, and I know all of them. <laughs> Ogden and like his guy friends and like that whole circle of people, they're like they're like cousins to me, like cousins, little brothers. That's how I see them. Like we have a very like all the guys that I've known up until high school, I've always had like a very platonic relationship. I just always have guy friends, like strictly friends, nothing crazy. Oh snap, I've been wanting to try this. I just realized what this was. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder. It's a waterproof, mattifying setting powder. Waterproof powder. I'm like, what? It has, oh my gosh, it's like textured. You can feel the water droplets. Ah, uh, SMR. <laughs> this is cool. I've been wanting to try this. I don't know if it really works. Does it come in different colors or is this just the color? It's kind of like a... I think it's just one shade that it comes in. Maybe it's like kind of translucent. It doesn't look, look translucent though. Looks like it might be a little not universal, but I'm gonna try this definitely. Let you guys know if it's waterproof or whatever. No, these are acrylic nails. Hi, Shantae.
Would I go back in time to change my career? No. When guys ask, when guys ask if where you work, don't say I'm a YouTube blogger, say I'm part of Google. Why? Why do I have to lie to guys? Are looks very important to you? Um, I guess like looks, looks are important, but I just wiped that powder on my face and now it looks weird. Looks are important, but like I, I personally feel like I have a wide range of who I'm attracted to or what I'm attracted to. Like I don't, I personally don't feel like I have a type. There's been some coincidences <laughs> with people that I've like talked to and dated that people are like, oh, this is your type, This they look alike. But if you look at the full range of guys that I've talked to and dated, they all look different from each other, all different skin tones, all different heights, all different, you know, they're all black, <laughs> which I don't think is that surprising. Um, but all different types of black guys, I guess. So, I mean, looks are important, but it's not like he has to be light skinned. He has to be six foot nine. He has to be this type of body type. He has to be, but you know, you, if you look good, you look good. I do want a dog, but I just know that I cannot take care of a dog right now. So I'm going to wait on that. Okay, I'm gonna open another one from my P.O. box. No, I'm not looking for a dog. Goddamn Zoe, yeah. This is so cute. This is a, a children's book that is created by the follower who sent me this to my P.O. box. Chantel Maples. Chantal Maples. Growing Girls with Curls. Short stories for girls of color. How cute. Oh my God. Presented to Zaya, I've enjoyed watching you grow on your mom's YouTube channel. I hope you like the book. Oh my gosh. It's, oh my gosh. My hair is curly, big and round. My sister is black. My sister's is black, mine is Sandy Brown. Please do not touch or I will frown full of glory in this crown. That is the cutest thing. I have ever seen in my life. So I'm guessing she um, illustrated everything herself too. That is so cute. I'm not sure, it doesn't say like where you can purchase this, but maybe if you just Google, Google it, Growing Girls with Curls by Chantel Maples, you guys might be able to find it, but she didn't leave like a link or anything of where to buy it. That's so cute. No, I don't currently use any hair vitamins. I'm gonna open this small box. Zaya came out as a lesbian, how would you react? I wouldn't care at all. I'd be like, okay, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> I feel like if, Zaya, if Zaya is ever in a position where she has to come out in any type of way, I don't feel like she would even have to come out. Like, we're not that type of family. This is Urban Decay something. I don't even know. Lip Mousse. Uh, the perfectly undone pout. Get high impact color with lo-fi lip mousse. Tap it on with your fingertips. Mm -mm. 
I do not like things that you have to apply with your fingertips. <laughs> For a just bitten look. Mm, so it's supposed to be like just a little like like a little like just like a little. You know. Comes in a bunch of colors. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> found it and the book sold out oh well I mean that's good good for her that means she's selling her book I'm 31 I've been single since I had my daughter eight years the sugar daddy what's sugar daddy I didn't see the sugar daddy question I do not know what I would name my future child. Favorite perfume? I don't have one. I really don't wear perfume. My nails are not too long. Oh, you saying for the for this? Yeah, my nails are too long to do this. That's why I don't like stuff that you have to like dip it with your hands and I just don't I don't I don't like that anyway even if I don't have nails um but I guess I'll probably do a giveaway with these I don't I guess I should open one just to see like what it even is it's a little Thingy. I'm not gonna touch it, but it's like, it's almost like it reminds me of like a stamp, a stamp pad, you know? And you dip it in and so it's kind of like squishy, like spongy, that's what I think it is. But you're supposed to like dip your finger and like dab it on your lips, but I don't want to touch it. Giveaway. It's cool, it's just not for me. My child's name would be Sunshine, as bright as her mama's gave. One of my older sister's friend's name was Sunshine. Am I gonna cut my hair for real soon? I'm not trying to say it will look bad because I know it won't. I really do want to cut my hair. I don't know why I'm like, I've never been scared to cut my hair. I've n never cared about that. But for some reason, now I'm scared to cut it. And it's not because I'm attached to my hair, because I'm not attached to my hair at all. Like, you could throw this hair away. I do not care. But it's because I feel like I don't know what I'm going to look like anymore. Because I feel like I have changed. Like, the way I look has changed over the past couple of years. So even looking at old pictures of myself when I used to have short hair, I feel like that's not really an accurate representation of what I would look like now with short hair. And I guess I'm just not sure if it's gonna look good on me anymore. So that's why I'm scared to cut it. But then it's like, well, I wear wigs anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But then it's like, Still, I don't want to be forced to always have to wear a wig because I hate, you know, I don't know. But I really do want to cut my hair because I'm not attached to my hair at all. It's too long. It's too much work. All I ever do is wear it up in a bun because it's too much work. Y'all see, I never wear my hair down and curly and like do, all, you know, make use of it. So it's like, why do I even have all this hair on my head that I have to wash and detangle if I'm not even, you know what I mean? So I just want to cut it off, but I'm just scared of what it's going to look like. Am I against a woman having a sugar daddy? No. I'm not. I, just, as long as you're not doing anything illegal or hurting anybody, I don't care what you do. Live your life. What that got to do with me? I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna have to entertain some old guy to get money. <laughs> I don't like talking to people, so I'm definitely not gonna do it like that. It's 
shoot, I'm considering getting a sugar daddy. <laughs> Apparently it's pretty easy to find one. This is from Rude Cosmetics, and this is also from my P.O. box. So I'm guessing that this is like a small business. Very professional, very cute though, so it might not be. A boob transplant. <laughs> a boob transplant? I think you mean implants, because transplant would be taking something off and putting it elsewhere. <laughs> Okay, anyway, makeup with attitude. Ooh, Lord, Rude Cosmetics. Makeup with an attitude, rudecosmetics.com. Oh, snap. This is super legit. <gasps> Wait a minute. Does this look familiar to y'all? I've never heard of this brand, but maybe I'm just late. My favorite song? Um, I don't know, that's a hard question right now. It's definitely not Kiki, Do You Love Me? Um, but yeah, this looks like the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Is it a knockoff? And then we've got a glowing primer oil. Very cute packaging though. Wishes do come true. Glow primer oil. What happened to Zaya's dad? Nothing happened to him. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, this is pretty. Rose gold glow. It's got like shimmer in it. It's so hard to show. Where is the friggin' camera? That looks pretty. And then we have charcoal foam cleanser and a shimmering primer. Made in Korea. I was about to say this looks like K-Beauty products. And then also, pickle my face. Pickle my face. Hydro gel, cucumber, sheet mask. If you want to turn your face into a pickle. So this is like a K-Beauty brand. That's why I haven't heard of it. But it seems legit. Y'all are funny in these comments, talking to each other. That's the funny part. I'm not answering questions that have been clearly answered all over my YouTube channel. I feel like, not to be rude, but if you really wanna know about my personal life and all about me, you could watch my videos, cause that's what they're there for. <laughs> And it's kind of sad as a creator to be putting out all these videos and explaining everything and showing everything and then nobody watches your videos but then they want to come and ask you the same questions. And it's like if, you, if you're interested in me, which I'm glad you are, you should check out my channel. Check out my vlogs, check out my videos, check out my past Q&A videos because it makes it really annoying for you know, my subscribers to hear me just say the same thing over and over again. Y'all ask the same questions. Cause it's like, are you even watching my videos? And I know that sounds really mean, but it's the truth. I got a Sephora play box. This is like their subscription box, I think. Beauty subscription. Yeah, beauty subscription box. 
and they put like little products in here and I was excited I actually already opened this so it has like a bunch of little products from Sephora yeah and it's not even uh about asking about Zaya's dad because I mean that is the number one thing that people want to ask about but it's like do you want any more that question has come up so much I just don't want to talk about that every single time I'm on camera, you know? And then people are in the comments like, oh, these comments are so annoying. It's just the same comment over and over again. This is a Prada perfume sample. So some of it's just like sample, well, actually most of it looks like it's just sample sizes. Um, like a little mini Too Faced lipstick, which is actually really cute. I love little mini stuff. A little mini Clinique take the day off makeup remover. And I don't know what this is. Volumizing mist? Is this for your... It says anti-aging, but it sounds like you're going to volumize your face or your hair. Oh, spray throughout towel dried hair. <laughs> volumizing mist. Uh, I think this is like a little hand cream, but then I was excited about this because I never tried this. Uh, the Kush Mascara by Milk Makeup. It has, um, whatchamacallit, cannabis oil in it, and it's supposed to like help your lashes grow and make your lashes thicker. So I was like really excited about this because I never got to try this. So I want to try this Kush mascara. Kush, good Kush. Weed mascara, yes. Mm -hmm. Shambles mugs. Do y'all want shambles mugs? It's getting hot in here. I'm literally like sweating. Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up on the comments. Okay, anyway, scrolling back down to the bottom. How hot is it where I live? Too damn hot. I think it's literally like a hundred and it's probably like a hundred and five today or something. It's very, very hot in Texas, Austin, Texas. Yeah, we can we can add mugs to the site if y'all really want them. Uh, we still have shirts and hoodies available. I'm wearing the um, short sleeve shirt. It's gold glitter. It's hard to see on this camera. I'm wearing a size small. I think this one is size small. Yeah. This is a size small t-shirt. 
Um, the link to my merch is in all the description box, all the description boxes of my videos, but it's ravenelisetv.com. Let's talk about your one million party in Chicago. Chicago. No, I want to have a one million party here in Austin because I haven't done, I don't think I've done any event or meet and greet or anything in Austin, like ever. And that's my hometown, that's where I live. So I really wanna do like a party or some type of event or something. Um, like when I hit a million subscribers. Shambles blanket, shambles crop top, shambles pajamas, shambles everything. I'm honestly, I wanna move on to other things from just shambles. I have some other ideas of like, you know, for the saying. Cause I feel like, you know, we did the shambles thing. If y'all want shambles mugs, we can still do that. But I want to move on to other stuff too. But yeah, like hats, bed sheets. <laughs> Mom react to the turnt up 21st birthday. It's really not much to react to because we did not get that much footage. Barbie snacks. Do a mom party. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about doing like some sort of event just for moms and like, there's a bunch of different types of events that I've been thinking about, but I really just wanna do one big event that's kind of just for everybody. Like, I don't wanna make it like, oh, moms only or whatever. Like, I kind of just wanna like celebrate with my subscribers, you know, whoever can come. Obviously not everybody, you know, is gonna be able to come to Austin or be near Austin, but I've never done anything in Austin, so. We still have more boxes, you guys. I'm gonna open this one. It's pretty big. I doubt, if for my one million party, I doubt I'm going to invite, okay, you guys, imagine this. I invite all my subscribers who have kids and they all bring their kids. That is, first of all, a safety hazard. Second of all, I don't think anybody's gonna be able to enjoy themselves. Cause it's like when you go to a birthday party and all the kids are running around and the parents are just trying to keep up with the kids, then the moms are not really gonna be able to, to like, talk to me or talk to each other or anything. So I'll have to do something very small if it's including kids. So for my one million party, we can't, I, we, I don't think we ever gonna be able to include kids. That's gonna be just a safety hazard. This is from NARS. Ooh, we getting fancy up in here. Yeah, I was thinking something like <laughs> Tanacon 2.0 with babies. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I was thinking more so like a cute event where like you can get dressed up you know, come with your outfit and your heels so that, you know, it could be like a fun event um serving drinks and things like that 
a little bit more, like not upscale, but you know, like a fun night out. Where you can get dressed up, we can take cute pictures, have music, you know, just like a party. I mean, I know some of my, my followers are underage, so I don't know. I'd have to think if I want to make it like all ages or like 18 and up or 21 and up. I don't know. It's a lot to think about. It's a lot to plan. So we're going to have to just see. This is the NARS Endless Summer Collection. We've got smoky eyes and dusky shadows. Ooh. I'd get a babysitter for that. Yeah. I would want it to be something where like even people who have kids, they can kind of get a babysitter and have a fun night out and not have to worry about, you know, bringing their kids and have to, you know, y'all know how it is when you have kids and you take them to an event, it becomes all about the kids. So I do still want to do something for moms and something that kind of involves kids kids in some kind of way but I'm just not sure I'm just not sure okay endless summer collection by NARS we have four things in here oh these are like lip bundles Undressed liquid lips, liquid lip set. When it comes to doing meet and greets, I mostly do them now through brands. So if a brand or a store invites me to host a meet and greet at their location, then that's really the best way for me to do it because I can't just like show up to a mall and be like, I'm having a meet and greet because then we'll get kicked out. <laughs> so it's really wherever the brands want me to go or wherever they are located. Um, and then also paying attention to where I have a good following. So New York is like top number one place. Um, Houston and also Atlanta. These are the lips. I'm guessing that these ones with the black border are matte. I'm not sure, it doesn't say, but there's like these two that have like a black border and then these two that are just regular. Very cute berry colors very cute colors and then there's another ooh. can you talk about dating in texas is dating in texas much different from dating other places i really wouldn't know what the difference is i've never lived i've visited a bunch of other places but i've never lived in another state to be able to compare this is the other bundle. So these are more like nudey type colors. I like this one. This is like my favorite type of lip color. I keep I keep like doing it off camera. Ooh, and this one. Let me swatch these two. Where's Zaya t-shirt? That's what I said last time. I was like, I need to make a Where's Zaya shirt for you guys. I need to wipe my hand, I have no more space to swatch. Oh, I think these are glosses in the clear. It's like a gloss. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. And so this one's probably matte. Ooh, yes, that is my jam right there. That is my jam. So that's like the mat. I'm guessing that's going to dry down. Matte and glossy. These are nice. Yes. I mean, it's NARS. It's expensive. It better be nice. So 
so these are really cute I'll be keeping these you know I got to keep some stuff for myself you know can't give away everything and then we've got two more things we've got a sun seeker I don't know this has a matte lip pencil a little mini lip pencil and a little mini uh is this a bronzer highlighter Ooh, this looks like a nice highlighter actually this is called for de france highlighter Ooh, look at that Ooh, looks like amrezy and then a little lip pencil and then we have a palette <gasps> oh my gosh do a hair tutorial what kind of hair tutorial Next week's package might be a ring. <laughs> Here's a little palette. This is like a full face palette because got a blush, a highlighter, and then four eyeshadows for like a smoky eye. That's cute. This is called the Hot Escape Eye and Cheek Palette. Interesting color scheme that they went for with their summer collection. This isn't really my vibe though, in terms of like the type of colors that I wear. The blush could be cute, but I don't really, I don't know. I might give this away. I'm gonna put it back in the box. Um, okay. Oh, I was gonna show you guys this. I got this product. It's a uh, body exfoliating, they're body exfoliating pads by, what's this called? Sweet Spot. Sweet Spot Buff and Brighten Natural Body Exfoliating Pads. Banish bumps, brighten skin, perfect for your bikini line, legs, and underarms. This type of stuff. I'm always looking for stuff to help with like bikini line, bumps, darkness, underarm darkness, just like general body skin help. So I wanted to open this and see. So these are like little individual pads that you're supposed to like exfoliate your bikini line and stuff to help with the bumps and stuff. So I'm really interested to try these and see if they help. <laughs> Y'all want me to have another baby, I know. Who I'm gonna have the baby with? We gotta, we gotta do things, you know, step by step. Babies ain't cheap. <laughs> okay, I got this package from Origins. Laser, yeah, I wanna get laser hair removal. I think that's gonna be the, ne like after, you know, I recover from my boob job or whatever, I think the next thing, I'm gonna start doing laser hair removal. Having another piece of chocolate. I don't do drugs. Not drugs are not my thing. <laughs> I don't know how you deal with ridiculous comments. I mean, I'm used to it. I, I mean, you see, I mostly just laugh, but sometimes it gets annoying because I just I want to be able to like talk to you guys and have 
a conversation, but it's hard because there's so many crazy comments that I can't even like see the good comments or like the real comments, you know? A sperm bank. Y'all want me to go to a sperm bank and just go and get pregnant right now? Sweet as honey mask. Charcoal, oh, charcoal honey mask. <gasps> oh, they say a little, oh my gosh. They sent a little honey, like a beehive necklace. Like a cute little necklace. Like it looks like Beyonce. And a little mirror. And it's a charcoal honey mask. Ogden? I'm not having a child with Ogden. Clear improvement. Charcoal honey mask to purify and nourish your skin. Use once a week. Oh, it's like, ooh, kind of metallic. It smells like soap. <laughs> Does Zaya use a toilet? Yes. She still has accidents sometimes. Cause she's still kind of new to potty training but she doesn't wear diapers anymore and this is just an active char oh yes just a regular old charcoal mask i love charcoal masks to clear your pores this is this is good stuff right here and i love this little necklace Supposed to be beating my husband. Don't let your husband die now. Some of y'all need prayer. Oh my god. Okay. I really just have like two more boxes that I want to open and then I'm gonna get off here. I've been on here for 97 minutes. Let's see if we can just do it in a hundred minutes. <laughs> Gotta hurry. No, Zaya's not at school. She's taking a nap. What time is it? Because honestly, she's probably going to wake up soon. I cannot open this. But this says, my shade is everything. Black beauty matters. Oh, black BR. Black radiance? Isn't it? Is that a makeup brand? My shade is everything. Hey, BR Beauty, give your lips life with our new Bright HD Sculptor Shades. Oh, Black Radiance. Did I say that? Love your shade of beauty. Does Zaya get in trouble at school? I'm sure she does. <laughs> You, a cute little gold box. Black Beauty Matters. Love your shade of beauty. I've never tried this brand, but I've heard about it. Black Girl Magic. I love this box. I just want to keep the boxes, and I don't know why. There's a whole bunch of lipsticks in here. A whole bunch of lipsticks. And they've got crazy colors too. Like they've got the normal colors, but they've also got like orange, blue, and green. And they're like a square. It's said on the thing that like they made it in this square shape so that you can, you know, line your lips with it. What y'all talking about Beyonce? No, I, my eyes are brown. <laughs> um, 
Hi, Dana or Dana. So it's like a square. Can you see that? Instead of being like round so that you can like use the edge of it to, you know. It's got like this bright orange, navy blue. I can't tell if this is like green or black. Let me open it. Oh, we already made it to 100 minutes. There we go. Now y'all can see. See? Interesting. So you can go like this. And like really get the edges. And that's this color. Ooh. That's cool. And there's a bunch of different colors of those. They're called the HD Lip Sculptor. All right, last box, I think. I think this is gonna be our last box. Hygiene video. I'm gonna be doing an, a hygiene video soon. Like my shower routine, basically. What kind of like body products I use. I'm gonna be doing that soon. How do I feel about Geminis? I don't know any Geminis. All I know is what people say about them, which might not be true that they're like two-faced and crazy and like just manipulative. <laughs> never know what to expect, like they might turn on you. <laughs> but I don't know any Geminis, I've never had that type of experience. Oh wait, this is another NARS package. Look at us getting fancy. This one came with like a book. Wow. Is that, I thought that was Faye for a second. Full vinyl lip, wait, hold on. Story time. Ooh. It's pretty. Okay. Another NARS bag. No, don't send money to my PayPal. <laughs> I don't, this smells burnt. <laughs> These are lip, liquid lip collection. Snapskis. Oh, yes. We got a whole bunch of these liquid lips. And some of them are like metallic. Look at this. I don't have any space to swatch. Ooh. Y'all see that? Ooh, that is not even doing it justice in person. Right there, that is so pretty. There's a bunch of them. Yes, I'm excited about this. It's like their whole, they got like the matte ones. The glosses and the metallic ones. So we've got, ooh, yes. 
Remember that gloss that I swatched a second ago? We got a bunch more similar ones. Yes, this is my jam right here. This whole little section right here, my jam. My jam. Like there's so many of them. <laughs> I'm in heaven. I can't even hold them all. Can't even show you <laughs> this is, okay. I'm gonna have to like do an Instagram photo of all of them laid out so you guys can see. But that was the last package. I'm drowning in lipstick because I already showed this on Instagram, but I also got this from uh, Lancome. Their whole lip collection. And I haven't even tried any of these yet because I really don't even want to take them out. It looks so pretty in the box. Look at that. Ooh. Hypnotizing. And then I just got all the NARS ones, so definitely, well, with all of this stuff, I'm definitely going to be doing giveaways. So, like I said, all you have to do is just be an active follower, make sure you're subscribed, you know, turn your notifications on, comment on my videos, comment on my Instagram photos, hit me up on Twitter. All of my social media handles are in the um, description box of all of my videos. My P.O. box address is listed in the description box of my videos if you guys have a small business and want to send me something like for the next time that I unbox stuff and what else I think that's it so thank you guys for joining me for a hundred and seven minutes watching me unbox this and look at this look at this aftermath the aftermath oh my god but yeah I am going to clean this up <laughs> And I will talk to you guys later.